Frank, we're back. Yes, we are. And we're here for the third round of the Man Made Me Tournament. I'm Charles. And I'm Frank. We are here to complete the third round of the Man Made Me Tournament. You can check out the other rounds of this tournament on the Man Made Mead channel. That's right. You don't want to miss the action that led us to round three. We've got about four meads competing to go into our grand final round. Let's go ahead and check out the board. We've got mead 10 versus mead 11 and mead 6 versus mead 1. Mead number 10 is a two below traditional and it's facing against a lemongrass and hopped session mead. Both of these meads have been crushing it in the competition. I'm very curious to see who comes out as the victor from that duo. Me too. And mead number six is a boysenberry melomel that will be versing mead number one, which is a blueberry pomegranate melomel. That's a melomel face-off. No way. It's, it's going to be a fierce battle. And I think everybody should be excited. We're going to go ahead and hop right into round three. Comment below who you think will win from each pair, and we'll see you in round four. Welcome this. to round Let's do this. three. BC's <laughs> <laughs> charged, ready to yeah, go. Yeah. We're uh, we're in round three of the Man Made Mean Tournament of 2021. <laughs> we need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, we're rolling. I'm, I'm keeping this. <laughs> I just like, you just look. I mean, you just like faded right now. <laughs> Um, I've had mead basically all morning. We ate chicken nuggets for lunch. <laughs> Just living it's the nap dream. Time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nap time now. So, we're, <laughs> we're in round three. Are we in college? <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, uh, this, these are all viewer submitted meads. So if you want to go back and watch round one and round two, we started with 15, we pared it down to eight. Now we're down to four. You can see the board here. This is what's left. If you'd like to take a guess to see who's going to move on of these four, feel free to do that below. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started on this side over here. This is the first grouping of meads, and we're going to see, figure out who continues on. All oh, right, we board. have our first pairing. We have number 10 versus number 11. Um, let's start with number 11. Is that the lighter one? Lighter, yes. This is the hot. This is the the hot character we've been uh, uh, diving into. There's a there's a friend in mine. I will say my biggest beef with this, as we've talked about it. each round, okay. it doesn't have enough. I thought that was sorry. It doesn't have enough honey character to really push it forward for me. It's that got a nice hot character. One. Yeah, hopped one. It and it just. I the think I, I like want to like this more than maybe I do. The hot the hopped one. Mm -hmm. It's not bad at all, mm -hmm. it, and I and I, I think there's like a lot of potential. It's very very drinkable. Yeah, but the Tupelo, which red is this um, number ten, which is mm -hmm. a Tupelo traditional, as we've found out, and eleven is this hopped one is green. Uh, it just presents so I much nice mead. I still yeah. even even as light and vibrant and just easy going as this this. Um, Hydromel is. Mm -hmm. I still, when I drink the two, this just, I still want to drink more of yeah. this. Like it's, it's, yeah. it's just like so inviting and tasty. Like it needs a little tweaking, but really I just, they, they do it. They did it well. I, yeah, I, I'm pretty sold on this. This one's good. It just needs some refinements that <laughs> will, <laughs> it just needs some refinements to help push it forward. I'm gonna try. So number 10 moves on. Let's get to our next one. Woohoo! There. All right, now we are on the last part of round three. This is number one versus number six. Um, let's start with number one. A little lighter. They're both red, as we just commented. <laughs> they sure are. This one is a little bit odd to me, which if I'm remembering what this tastes like, because they're both like berry-esque. This is like hydromel strength. This is more like mm. sack strength. And so you have some different complications, so to speak. There are some... As oh this, yeah, this is carbonated. If as this want. opens up, and, or I guess since it was flat, but there, are, there is something too. medicinal and slightly mm -hmm. offensive that's coming. Like a little cherry, like a little uh, 
Mm-hmm. Robert Hesney. For number one? Yeah. Really? I don't think it tastes... Something has come out. I don't really think it tastes medicinal. I didn't think it did the first few times we tasted it. I kind of get like a mineral thing. Mm. Like a mineral astringency. Yeah, it's that bitter, slightly sweet... It's, it's not medicinal like... Like where it's got that boozy ethanol kind of thing, but like... Like a tincture. Like a... Yeah. Snake oil salesman. Snake <laughs> oil. This guy's a snake oil salesman. There's a little, little something going on in there. I just can't. Like, this one is so awesome. This is... Number six is red. Number one is green. Um, number six is just so berry forward, so rich, and... It reminds me a lot of the one we were arguing about several weeks ago. It does. It does. It's not quite as just tight. Mm-hmm. And nuanced. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't quite have the, like, length of complexity either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's very, very yeah. reminiscent. They did it's a very good job. It's a very, very good job. Would, this would, at competition, get a pretty high score. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So... Now number six. For the same kind of. I know. <laughs> number six moves on. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same thing that happened last time. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be. Yep. <laughs> Except there's only three of us, so. Yeah. So this was the round three, end up uh, uh, ending essentially. So we have number six versus number ten as our grand finals, our round four. Um, you can anticipate that very soon. Um, this is going to be a, a close one. We are now down to the, I would say arguably the the toughest thing being that we're having to be super nitty gritty and be kind of uh, hypercritical of each thing, which is fun in some regards, but also hard. So we will taste test these next time. Um, if you would like to guess of the two, a Tupelo traditional versus a boysenberry Mead, which one will be the victor at the end? This is literally the same thing yeah, we were doing this last time. Feel free to comment <laughs> below, and uh, we'll be back soon with round four. We'll see you then. Mm-hmm.